the Iron Cross. The ability to suspend your body in the air simply with your arms stretching out horizontally from your body. No easy feat. As a high school gymnast, I tried to learn this, but sadly, I never made it. However, as an artist, I was finally able to accomplish the Iron Cross in a self-portrait. Let's call it artistic license. The first step, as always, is to fill in the background with a value at least close to what it will be in the final painting. But in this case, it was black. So I just went all the way to full black. I used acrylic paint because this painting is large, 24 inches by 36 inches. So I had a lot of canvas to cover. And acrylic paint is a lot cheaper than oil. I used black oil paint for the finish, but since the canvas was already black, it took a lot less paint. Next came the pants. Nothing special here, but a lot of detail in the folds on the lower part of the legs. I left the shoes for later since I didn't find the style of shoe I used in high school until much later. The shirt and rings didn't have much detail, but then I was starting to get a little more color into the painting. For the hands, I used close-up photos of how they look today. Not too much detail in the right hand, but the right arm and left hand gave me a chance to really elaborate a bit on the muscle structure. After all, I didn't want to look too puny to be able to do this pose. Finished the left arm and finally did find the right shoes to match the ones I used when I was a gymnast. And finally the head. I took a photo to match the position and lighting that would fit the body and made a composite in Photoshop to use as my model. The suggestion of an audience in the background was an afterthought to fill in the rather large blank dark area. This was really a fun job as I try to make all my paintings be. Check out my website at the address on the bottom of the screen. And if you want to see how I work, you can order my DVD titled How I Did It from that site. Have fun painting. <laughs>